This week's show is a cocktail of so many things. It's part travel, part lifestyle, part architecture, part just about everything, agriculture, you name it. Now, we have decided to put everything on hold and do what tourists do, both local and international. We're here at the heart of the Savo, one of the few attractions to find um, here at the Savo National Park. And that man you see over there is going to be my tour guide for the next couple of minutes. Now, Mr. Anthony, yeah. why did you bring us here? Okay, I brought you here because, um, like you've mentioned, this is one of the main attractions of the Savo. And in fact... Geography lesson one. And I started appreciating how terms such as research, organization, landscape and infrastructure define many of the activities of contemporary architects seeking to find a new framework for architectural processes and design. Huh. For some hippo remains. Yeah. So also expect to find some hippos around this place. Crocodiles, hippos. Here. Yeah, and different fish species, among other aquatic animals. Mm. Lesson number two, the relationship between biology and architecture and how it affects design. And for these crocs, they can stay even up to over one year without feeding. Because anything they eat goes into the tail, converted into fat. And then later on, the fat will be converted into energy and glucose. So that it may sustain the crocodile. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And they can live for over 100 years. These creatures? Yeah. So this is the Nile crocodiles. How many are they here? Would you know? Here, there are, there are over 100 of them. That's for me. And what is that? Oh, that's an underground glass tank. Yeah. Uh, and while you're inside there, that's where I'm taking you, you can get a very good view of the bed, of the Mzima Springs bed, yeah? Hang on a second. Is yeah. it, it's, well, wait, it's, uh -huh. is it floating? How is it? it? It's not floating, yeah? It's a structure that has been set under the water. Mm. Yeah. What material have they used there? Glass. Let's find out. Okay, let's see. That's interesting. I'd like to know how they've managed to put that one together. Okay, now here we are. And wow. uh, as I promised to show you the clear water. So from here. This water is... Mm -hmm. And you see different fish species, yeah? Yeah. The bigger one is in the farm. It's, it's called freshwater shark, but it's not in the family of shark. It's just because of the, the futures. Yeah. What's this blue fish called? It's called a barbell. And the small ones, we have a barbell. And the bigger ones, they're called gobies. And the sm uh, small ones are freshwater sharks. And they go around this structure, which you've called a... Uh, Last tank. The glass tank? Yeah, this is the glass. Who created this tank? This tank was created by the British government. And the glass was uh, imported from Germany. This? Yeah. How long has it been here? It's been here since the park was gazetted. Back in 1948, 1949. You should be here to see this piece. Come on in. Okay. What is this structure made of? Yeah, this structure, like I told you earlier, it's made of glass, but it's a combination of uh, metal and glass. And this is imported, uh, imported glass from Germany. Quite a strong structure. I mean, it's, a, it's one of those things you... I mean, you can create and have this in your own dam or pond. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Just look at fish the whole day. It's a beautiful sight. Even know beautiful. what you're going to have for dinner. Huh? Fish, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, even have something like this uh -huh. as a swimming pool. It doesn't have to be a, a large aquarium. Yeah, yeah. It's nice, yeah? Very. This is a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Very, very, very. This good. is it's a true. great idea it's you true. can use for your house. 
so indeed. That thought of having a transparent swimming pool sheds some light on how nature is not supposed to be copied but made comprehensible. Okay, now here we are at the lower pool. Wait a second, who are those? Who those are, those are hippos. Yeah, yeah, the hippos have come out. Hippos. And also there's a crocodile right over there. Yeah, crocodile. oh yes, yeah. right there. So hippos. Hippos, they're amphibious animals. When I say amphibious, uh, I mean that uh, they spend most of their lives in water. And they only go out at night. So why do they spend uh, their days in water? This is because they have a very thin skin membrane. Yeah. The journey moved from biology's relationship with architecture to the monkey business and design. They're like human beings. It's true. <laughs> Our distance cousins. Hmm. We found ourselves in one of the largest lava deposits in the world, found right at the heart of the Savo National Park. And I believe in Africa, it's one of, it's the largest in Africa. Can... So that's a pumice rock, yeah? It's a byproduct of uh, volcanic lava rocks. And the pumice rocks can also be used in different ways. The main one back at home, uh, you can use it uh, on scratching the dead skin from your feet. Can I use this for construction? Yeah, you can also use it for construction. Do they allow people to No, we don't. Personally, here. as a conservationist, I can't also encourage that. Mm. Yeah, because this is a conservation area. So we believe in leaving things impromptu, just the way it is. The temptation to use this rock for decorative purposes in an ideal space was met with an argument from the conservation people. 